Hey guys, it's uh, Bull here for another tutorial for Photoshop. Uh, people have been asking me which uh, which version I use. I just want to tell you it's uh, CS3 right now. That's all, that's all I need so far. Alright, today I'm going to tell you guys how to blend pictures together and a little bit of uh, designing style and making pictures look better. Like, if you take a normal picture, just being able to make, make it look better, get the best quality out of it. Alright, I'm going to start with a new document. It's almost the same size as both of these, and I'm going to drag and put both of these in here real quick. Alright, what you want to do is you want to get them kind of side by side, but you want to get one on top of the other, whichever one you're going to blend is going to be on top. And you kind of want to make them, if it's people like this, you want to make them look almost the same size, you know, because obviously if it's the same person, they're not going to be bigger than their own self. I don't know. But yeah, basically, you're going to want to use the marquee tool. And you're going to want to put it at a certain feather, whatever you want. I use 50 for this one, I guess. I mean, it's not going to make that big of a difference, but that's just me. What you're going to do is you're just going to make a little, make a drag and click and drag, and make it's going to make this little weird shape. And you're just going to hit delete on the layer that you want to fade. You're just going to hit it a few times for however many times you want to. It's going to make it look better. And then you can kind of drag that top picture into the other one. And since it's, it's deleting a little bit of the picture that's on top, then it kind of it just makes it fade into each other or whatever. And if you get like a little bit, there's a little bit on your sleeve that's into the other one now. Just kind of brush it up real quick. Alright, whatever. So basically, you can just merge those two layers together. And you select them both and hit Control E. Whatever you want to do. I'm just going to crop it out real quick. Alright. Now, basically, what I always do is you want to get that layer. I always duplicate it in case I make a mistake. Because I um, usually do that. And the first thing for making your picture look better, you want to go to Image Adjustments and go to Curves. It's a big part of editing. And you want to drag this little arrow thing up here. You're going to keep it on the top and drag it over to the left. It's going to make your pick brighter. Now calm down, it's not going to It's not gonna look like this. You're just Everyone usually freaks out. You're going to want to click this. What this is doing is you're going to want to find the darkest part of the picture. And you're going to want to look for it, and it'll show which part is darkest in the first, the top color box. So I picked that part, and then you're going to want to go here, and this is the light one, and you're going to want to drag this to the right. It's going to make it dark, and you're going to be able to show you which part is lightest. Basically, right here. And then this middle one is for gray. You're going to want to find the most neutral color in the picture. I think you could probably around here somewhere. Ah, there we go. Alright. So basically, that's the curves portion. I mean, it looks a little better. Gives it more of a color. You can just delete that bottom layer and then make another one, actually. You can just hit Control J as well. Then you want to go to Image again and go to Adjustments. Go to Shadow and Highlight. Another big part. Basically, the amounts of the shadows, you want to have it basically always at 25. You can save your own defaults here, I think. Usually it comes out like this. You're going to want to show more options. Just, you can kind of mess around with it. It'll make it look better. Whichever you think. I mean, it's up to you, but I'm just trying to show you like how to get yourself started. Do that. It's a little bit better. So it looks a lot better. All right. I always delete that bottom layer just because it's not going to make much of a difference anymore. And now, usually, if I'm doing a little picture like this, I'll go to layer your uh, style here. And I usually put it on like soft light or something like that. I mean, you can kind of mess around. They all, they're all a little different. But uh, soft light, usually put it around 50% probably. And that makes it look a lot better. Gives it more of a creative look you want to say. And, uh, basically, that's it. I mean, anything else you can think of. 
you can always mess around with levels or do your auto levels. Auto levels usually suck though. I mean, if you know what you're doing and you're gonna do it like that, then it's gonna look best, obviously. But uh, otherwise, I, I kind of do do whatever makes you happy. Do what looks best. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be. I'm not the best, obviously. I'm just trying to help you guys out. So uh, yeah, just a little blending technique. I'm uh coming out with a 3D text tutorial pretty soon. It's gonna be. Uh, I'm trying to make it get you guys the best stuff. So the easiest ways to do it. So basically, that's it. Remember, marquee tool, feather, just drag and drop and delete. Thanks, guys. See ya.